Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you are here. So uh, yeah, we're getting into a few stories, a little bit of a 90 days update. So I hope that you are doing well and we're gonna get kind of right on into it. We're gonna be talking about Michael and would he spend his last uh, holiday time frame with and we're also going to speak about how he's doing right now how he's feeling right now about his um looks like presumed split from angela and we're also going to then take a complete right turn to some great news for david and annie and i'll let you hold on to that a little bit until we get there so you can see exactly what we're going to be talking about <laughs> all right so i get i hope you are doing well we're going to go ahead and pop up the first uh sharing here so we can uh, get in the know and i for sure would like to know your opinions and your thoughts about everything here in this uh, story sharing, especially about Michael and Angela, because I mean, you know, these updates are, they don't seem so uh, pleasant. I'll, I'll say that <laughs> and not as far as anything close to being to reconciliation. So I guess we'll see how all of that plays out. All right. So getting on with our first sharing, well, it appears that uh, according to ScreenRat.com, 90 Day Fiance's Michael celebrated his 4th of July uh, with a new family after the Angela split. Now, I'm pretty sure that did not make Angela none too thrilled. All right. So after parting ways with Angela Deem, Michael from 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, now has a new family to enjoy the 4th of July celebrations with. I tell you what, this man moves quick. <laughs> now, Angela and Michael had a rocky relationship from the start. Early on, Michael's cheating shattered Angela's trust in him. Despite their age difference and trust issues, the couple tied the knot in January 2020. It took three years, but Michael finally made it to the United States on a spouse visa. Unfortunately, he had to leave Angela's house in fear for his safety three months later. Now, although Michael may still have lingering fears about Angela, he isn't worried because he has found a strong support system in the United States. He's enjoying celebrating Independence Day with his soccer team. And I wonder if there's a little bit of an innuendo in that, considering that it's Independence Day and all, right? Now, Michael shared a peek into his day on his Instagram story, so you can feel free to check out his Instagram. Um, and it basically, he was showing his followers at the warm-up and the post-game chill session with his soccer team, because this is now part of what he considers his new family, I guess. Now, after the game, Michael had an outdoor lunch with his friends who have become like a second family to him. Despite his split from his American wife, Michael sent his best wishes to all his followers for a happy 4th of July. Now, where is Michael living after splitting from Angela, you may ask? <laughs> well, according to Angela, Michael lives in Texas. Now, mind you, Angela is originally from Georgia, so that's where he was actually immigrated into or starting the process of their rest of their happy after happy ever after life together uh too many words to tongue tie <laughs> um so uh, he guess you know i don't know how the means in which way he got to texas but he's there apparently now in late 2023 michael had moved to the united states and stayed with angela and her family for a few months unfortunately something happened in the house in february of 2024 huh i guess you know the seemingly month of love right um, that made him to decide to leave. After keeping a low profile for a while, Michael resurfaced on social media, being careful not to reveal his whereabouts. However, a video from Matt, uh, Matt C. Dunnett in May of 2024 hinted that Michael was in Indiana for a party. And then later on, Angela has shared with her TikTok followers that Michael actually was in Texas and she was still responsible for him since she brought him to America. Um, it's inspiring to see Michael move forward with his life after splitting from Angela in his latest video. He's surrounded by a new group of friends who share his interests, and he's been embracing an active lifestyle by picking up activities like soccer. Now, this is according to some individual's feelings about how they feel about his split. 
Now, after enduring a tough six-year relationship that didn't give him the love and respect he deserved, Michael is now free to rebuild and chase his dreams. He's getting in shape and might even be considered for a feature on 90 Day The Single Life Season 5. Well, I'll say what, if he gets that opportunity, then Angel probably is going to get the opportunity as well. Now, the question will be, if they both are doing it, are they going to both have them in the same season? Hmm. Now, Michael has been accused of being a user for ending his relationship with Angela after she brought him to America. However, many think he didn't have a choice and Angela deserved it when he left. Even though Michael has moved on, Angela still talks about him. Well, of course she does. Uh, she's still paying for him. <laughs> she isn't ready to move on from the Nigerian man and wants revenge. Well, that doesn't surprise me. All things alleged. And now, Angela sees herself as the real victim, naturally in the relationship and is looking for justice. It'll be interesting to see if the 90 Day Fiance Headway Ever After season eight will reveal what caused Michael to leave Angela. Cause right now we're kind of in the midst in this season. Now I've not been really watching this season too much. I've gotten a little bit here and there, but it looks like we're getting into the nitty gritty opening precursor to the situation. So maybe they'll end the season with them leaving. Cause I would imagine if they're going to be doing a tell all this has already happened so there's going to be some questions if she's going to show up so the question will be one they're going to have a tell-all and two they're going to address it and three if she's going to address it in some fashion and if Angela's going to show up and if even michael's going to show up now my thoughts is he probably won't show up if he's so concerned but he may do it on the um you know the video um transmitted way <laughs> so what are your thoughts about this i mean you know it looks like he is moving along happily the, the question is how and where did he meet these individuals so quickly since he had just gotten here in december of 23rd two days before christmas if i'm not mistaken and then all of a sudden in february he's already out and he's got a, a group of friends and a soccer and you know where's all this coming from so fast you know one thing that angela did not like is him having uh, his interactions on instagram so my guess is maybe that's where a lot of this starts right <laughs> so yeah but let me know your thoughts about what you think about how um michael had celebrated his last uh holiday time frame and what do you think about um your feelings on whether or not this is kind of a kaput situation and if you're thinking about if it's a kaput situation for the two of them hold that thought because we're going to go on to the next story it kind of shares about where they feel that he's at right now in the present time all right so let's move on and if this picture doesn't tell you something i don't know what will <laughs> all right now according to tv show ace 90 day fiance michael does not miss angela so there you go <laughs> i mean in the story right let's go on further 90 day fiance star michael has made it clear that he does not miss angela dean there's a lot that has gone down between the two fans are seeing all of it unfold on 90 day fiance happily ever after fans do not know who to believe at this point there's so much that has made viewers confused about whose side to be on but you want to keep on listening to this story to find out a little bit more so now Michael in the group chat. When Angela was in Nigeria, she found an interesting group chat on his phone. It was called Paradise Men. Hmm. Paradise was referring to the United States. There were pictures of multiple women and men saying they were looking for a husband. This kind of sounds very similar to what the Pedro situation was with Pedro and Chantel. If you recall that there was a situation where they felt that he was part of a group or something that was kind of got people together in order to find someone that they can get in to the states with on yeah it sounds something similar to that um now allegedly anyways uh, allegedly that that existed <laughs> we'll say that uh there were also around a hundred thousand members in the group Jeez, Louise. michael was not only in the group but he was also the administrator <laughs> uh he also shared angela's personal information with the group uh this caused a lot of tension between the two however angela seemed to forgive him and bring him to the states anyway he then ran away three months later he does not miss Angela Dean. Well, Michael has been saying partying in Texas at a club, has been seen partying in Texas in a club, and it is clear to fans that he does not miss Angela. He seems to be moving on without her just fine. However, she is still responsible for Michael. And however, some fans are happy for him. There are mixed emotions. Some have said that I'm glad he's doing so much better, but now that it's out, the menthol uh, Mima probably squealed tires and making her way to Texas right now to find him. He's a cheater, laughing out loud. Y'all celebrate him like he's a good guy just because she's an abuser. He deserves to live his best life. He suffered enough for a thousand lifetimes with that demon Angela. And Michael, 
Well, he had this plan before he came. There's no doubt, and he had people here to help him. He's probably going to try to get on the 90 Day Fiance train because Angela is out. There has been some uh, sources in, that has been rumbling about that, that she possibly may not be returning, but we'll see as time goes on. Um, so do you think that he was plotting this entire time? Well, it seems that Michael is living his best life without Angela. However, some fans find it weird that he left her after beating the United States for only three months. They were together for seven years. I'd say that's a, a long end game, right? Now, why not leave her before then? Michael is currently living in Texas. However, Angela is still financially responsible for Michael since she brought him to the States. What do you think about the whole situation? Leave those uh, answers, responses down in the comment section. And whose side are you on? If you are on a side, make sure you let me know down below because I would most certainly love to know. Now, it does make sense that he probably, again, if he has been in chat rooms and all that good stuff, chat groups, and in this case, is saying that he was an administrator of this particular group, that he would have already made some friends over the last seven years. So we kind of already know he had been interacting quite a bit because Angela had a huge issue with him being on Instagram. If you remember in past season, she didn't want him to wipe his Instagram. She wanted him to have no parts of it. They broke up, I think, at least one or two times because of the Instagram. And it was just a big issue. And so therefore, part of that being an issue was it was a lifeline to him with other people, to meet other people. For her, it was the situation you're meeting other girls. But who's to say that he may not have just been meeting other people, period, in order to you know establish some type of a friend group or someone that he could <laughs> at least deal with and talk to because, you know, he's leaving his country and his family and his friends and everything he knows for a place that he does not know, uh, as far as I know, anyways, and with no friends and, and no allies per se. And it may not have been such a wise situation to have all his eggs in one basket by only dealing with Angela and only having Angela and her family in the circle. And considering how volatile their relationship had appeared to be and what was shown most times when it came to both of them, it would make sense that he would want to make sure he has some type of a safety net, some type of a wingman type of group in order to help him if he needed to get a fast getaway, which apparently, considering how he was gone within about two months or so, that's exactly what he was able to establish. So, you know, it's very easy to see how individuals would say, you know what, I think he was scamming her all along. And then I can see some people saying, well, you know, he did come. Why didn't he just leave before? Well, here's my thought. Um, basically, I would think he didn't want to leave before if he was trying to get here um, into the United States. Why would he leave before, right? He would try to kind of hold out as long as he could. Um, so, you know, we'll get to know more about it. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? If Michael doesn't come back to another tell-all and Angela doesn't come back to another tell-all, then we may never know exactly the true uh, essence of why Michael did come. We will just have to be left with our thoughts, <laughs> which I would love to know about them respectfully in the comment section. So go ahead and leave them down there and let me know what you think about whether or not um, his intentions were to either be here at all costs. It didn't matter. He was going to wait this out. Or if he really just simply just was in fear of his life and just said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and roll out. So, <laughs> but let me know down below. So let's go ahead and take that right turn. Cause I love when we get some good news, you know, we got to throw in the messy in the uh, unfortunate. We need to throw in some good news too. And I promise you this next story definitely is one of those things because we are talking about none other than David and Annie. And I absolutely love this coupling. I mean, to just see their trek along for the time that they have been on 90 days has really been fun. They've had a, quite a few spinoffs. They've been on Pillow Talk. They've had their own specials and then they've just been a joy to watch. They don't have the type of drama that gets you infuriated. It was a lot of rapport-based drama in the beginning and then there was time that was separated from the drama and you just got to really get to know them as a couple. And then you got to see some uh, blending and um, reconciling of his older children, of course, because, well, we're going to be talking about why I've Miss stated older, um, his older children, and you know, trying to bridge the family together. And so that was nice to see. And I hope that's still continuing on. So let's get on into the sharing. According to In Touch magazine, 90 Day Fiance's Annie Swan is pregnant and she's expecting baby number one with David. Yay! Now, 90 Day Fiance star Annie is pregnant and an adorable announcement. The reality TV alum announced she was expecting baby number one with her husband, David. Oh, I'm so excited for them. The test results said I'm pregnant. <laughs> the reality captioned a sweet video announcement and she shared that on 
via Instagram on Friday and adding a heart and crying emojis. And she let everybody know about this on July 5th. So if you haven't gone to her uh, Instagram to check that out, I'm sure it's still out there. Um, now, David, who's 55, and Annie, who's 31, were introduced on season five of 90 Day Fiance in 2017. He first met the Thai cooking instructor when he traveled to her native Thailand after suffering at your stroke. Their chance encounter took place at a bar and led to them tying the knot in 2017. After making it down the aisle, the international couple went on to appear on season three of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After. And before they were given their spinoff, David and Annie, after the 90 days in January 2022. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. And I think we're going to get probably more of those. So that'll be fun to see. Now, initially, the 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After alums were hesitant to have children due to David's older age and his previous vasectomy. David is already a father to two daughters, Ashley and Brittany, and a son, Jacob, from a previous relationship. Meanwhile, Annie admitted that while she once wanted to have children with the dad of three, she wasn't sure anymore, first making the revelation during season one of the couple's spinoff. However, after the Indonesia native welcomed a nephew in 2023, baby fever set in and the couple has been transparent about the desire to expand their family with fans ever since, with David taking a major step forward by undergoing a vasectomy reversal. I cannot have any more children on my own unless I have a vasectomy reversal. The 90 Day Fiance alum explained to producers during the couple's spinoff in January of 2022. If Annie decides that she wants to have children, they can still extract the sperm. The pair first revealed they were embarking on a major journey to fans on January 19th. And one day later, the duo revealed their IVF baby plans by telling fans they had a great appointment at the fertility center. We look forward to the next steps and we'll keep you posted. They were absolutely amazing. David updated his followers on his January 20th post at the time. And he says now it was time to head back to Arizona. Months later, the Arizona resident shared an update regarding the IVF journey. Thank you fans for their support. The emotional roller coaster of IVF is hard to articulate. We will know in the next week if the embryo has in fact become a baby. The TLC personality wrote in a lengthy caption, we will update as we know. I thank all of the providers and everyone who have been involved with us since January when we begin this journey. The TLC alums returned with positive news in June, revealing that they were about to undergo an embryo transfer. We so appreciate each and every one of you have been part of this journey for the last seven months, he wrote. And now David and Annie have recently relocated their apartment in Scottsdale, Arizona into a bigger home for their growing family in nearby Hidden Hills and in touch previously confirmed that the 90 Day Fiance's couple made the significant purchase in May 2023 for $550,000. The four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home is an astonishing 2,219 square feet and features 20 feet ceilings and a two car garage and a community pool. <laughs> it seems that their new home will have more than enough space should they become parents in the new future. I say congratulations to David and Annie that have it's always been a point of contention, but not in a very toxic way, if you will. It seemed like Annie had really just kind of got to a point where she was okay with not having children. Um, but obviously times have changed and things have happened for them. You know, if you remember, if you've been watching them from the beginning, they did start off by living in one of, I think, like one of those like public storage places, apartments above. Um, things were, were a little bit rough for them at that time, but it over the years, it seems that they have been flourishing through different businesses, different shows, and now they are just living really their best life here in the United States. So I am very happy for both of them. I think they're a really fun couple, and they just bring a lot of joy to whatever episode they're on because they they are fun together. And that's one thing about their relationship that I've always liked about them is that they enjoy each other right they make each other laugh they're just always in good spirits with each other and it does seem very genuine and you know they like to poke fun at each other a lot more annie towards david <laughs> but it's really beautiful to see and you know a lot of the relationships in the 90 day sphere um have not fared as well as david and uh, annie's has um there are a few that are hanging in there like annie and robert and maybe the name annie has something to do with that i don't know is that a coincidence <laughs> Um, and there's other relationships, obviously, that have had their ups and downs and, you know, stay together and some that have just been just fine. Um, so it's nice to see that, you know, the curse did not hit them. And I do wish them the best. So go ahead and leave those congratulations down in the comment section below for them. If you like, if you do watch 90 Days, let me know down below. And if you've found any of their spinoff shows, let me know um, your 
tips on that and if you enjoy watching them as well. But I think that about does it for this particular video and these stories. Um, go ahead and make sure you keep your notification bells on though. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and make sure you do subscribe so you can be part of the family. I would love to have you. And I should be dropping another video as well. So be on the lookout for that. But if you have that notification bell, it'll let you know. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for being here. Again, leave those respectful comments down below in the comment section. And until next time, bye.